Good morning. Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's. Today's Mass celebrates the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time and our celebrant this morning will be Father Kevin. We ask that you please turn off all cell phones and any electronic devices during the Mass. And please stand and join us in our opening hymn, number 540, Give Us Your Peace, number 540. Give us your peace, oh God, give us your peace, your peace, give us your peace, oh God, give us your peace, your peace. When we're afraid, running from truth, gather us back to you, take every fear. Fill our hearts, give us your peace, oh God. Give us your peace, oh God. Give us your peace, your peace. Give us your peace, oh God. Give us your peace, your peace. Give us your peace, your peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good morning. This morning we celebrate the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is being, being offered for Christian Zioli Warius. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. See at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will walk 
before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me. The day I called, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The cords of death encompassed me. The snares of the netherworld seized upon me. I fell into distress and sorrow, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, save my life. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low and he saved me. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? See also faith of itself. If it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, you are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. <clears throat> he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, get behind me, Satan. 
You're thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A married lady went out shopping one day, and when she returned home, she brought with her a beautiful dress. She showed the dress to her husband, who almost had a stroke when he heard how much it cost. She agreed with him that it was very expensive, but she said she tried it on and she looked so beautiful in it, she couldn't resist the temptation to buy it. Her husband told her, you should have said, get behind me, Satan. She said, that's exactly what I said. And Satan said, you look fabulous from back here too. When Jesus told Peter, get behind me, Satan, he wasn't calling Peter a devil. The Jewish people knew an anointed leader was coming who would save God's people. That anointed leader was called in Hebrew, Messiah, and in Greek, the Christ. They expected, however, a powerful and glorious savior, not a suffering Messiah. Peter answered, rightly that Jesus was the Messiah, the Christ, but he didn't know about the suffering the Messiah would undergo. That's why Jesus didn't want the apostles to tell anyone about him. They still had a lot to learn. Peter especially had to learn that Jesus was the, was the master and teacher. Peter forgot he was Jesus's follower when he called Jesus aside and started to instruct Jesus that he would not have to go through any suffering. Jesus literally put Peter back in his place when he said, get behind me. In other words, you are not in charge, Peter. I called you to follow me, not to tell me what to do. Peter, with both divine guidance and human vulnerability at work within him, stands as a model for our own relationship with Christ. Then Jesus announced to everyone, if they wanted to follow Jesus, they would have to be willing to lose their life for him. In doing so, they would gain the fullness of life that Jesus came to bring. Today's gospel asks some profound questions. It starts off asking, who is Jesus? What is my personal relationship with the person of Christ today? What have I learned about myself through my relationship with Christ? Who do we say that Jesus is and how do our actions demonstrate this belief? It ends up asking, who are you? Are you willing to give everything for Christ? You'll have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Amen. Please stand for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, who was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. 
United as the body of Christ, we turn to our Lord with prayers for the good of our assembly, the church, and the world. That bishops, priests, and deacons may be led by the Holy Spirit to proclaim the truth with courage and conviction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are persecuted for their faith may remain steadfast in hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community of faith may be guided by the gospel message in our efforts to love one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in Christ may one day rise with him, especially Richard Dentino Santo, Frederick Freeman, members of our Mass Intention Guild, and all our beloved deceased. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kristen Zioli Warius, for whom our sanctuary candle is lit this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those needs best spoken in the silence of our hearts, For those needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Kristen Zioli Warius, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, you are our help and our shield. Look upon the prayers we offer you this day and answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 408. These alone are enough, number 408. Take my heart, O oh Lord, take my hopes and dreams. Take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than your love and these alone, O oh God, are enough for me. Take my thoughts, O oh Lord, and my memory. Take my tears, my joys, my liberty. Give me nothing more than your love and alone, O oh God, are enough for me. I surrender, Lord, all I have and hold. I return to you your gifts untold. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. He's alone, oh God, are enough for me. Blessed Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. The when earth, the darkness the falls on my final days, take the very breath that sang your praise. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. Divine working hands will become our spiritual drink. As we are forever. Holy Spirit, I can have you said the right of the Lord. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Oh, that's okay. You know, we'll extra water. Now.
Praying, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we've been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember your servant, Christian Zioli Warius, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who will fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity accords with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is number 349, Our Blessing Cup, number 349. Our blessing comes is a communion with the blood of Christ. And in bread we break, it is a sharing in the body of the Lord. How can we make a return? We will take the cup of life and call upon God's name. Our blessing comes to Number 574. Amen. This day was made. I'm sorry, it's 674. <laughs> Lord Precious Lord, take my hand. Number 674. Precious. 
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. A handful of announcements. Please call the rectory to register any incoming first graders for religious education. The Christmas Fair Committee is currently accepting all types of donations for our fair in November. Details are in the bulletin. It's such a wonderful, it's like a ministry here at, the, at, at St. Mary's. Uh, all, the, all the staff members who volunteer so much of their time and talent for this Christmas fair and your generous donations of different things that can be sold and also auctioned off. So, uh, and, and patronizing the fair itself in, first in, in November. So um, please keep that in mind. Join us next weekend for our annual parish picnic after the 11 a.m. mass. Can only hope that we'll have as nice weather as we had this weekend. The men's core group is starting back up Thursday, September 19th at 7 p.m. This month's discussion will focus on the Catholic family in a post-Christian world. All are welcome. The Catholic daughters are having their biannual bake sale on the weekend of September 28th and September 29th. See the bulletin for requested baked goods. And we're bringing the children's liturgy back. Uh, it starts on August, uh, excuse me, on October 6th, and it's going to be a situation where it's geared to the preschool age children, and it's going to be for about 15 minutes. So after the colic, the, the colic prayer, before we hear the readings, the little ones will be coming forward for a blessing, and then we'll go downstairs to the lower church, and they will share the, the gospel message as, along with um, other aspects. So it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity and look forward to seeing the little ones uh, participating in that. I have a little story to share you speaking about that lady that had gone out shopping. My wife was, loved to go uh, dress shopping. And uh, one day she comes to me and says, Kevin, I'm going out and I'm going, to go, I'm going out to get a dress. I say to Claire, I says, but Claire, you have so many beautiful dresses. Why do you need another one? So she looks at me and says, but I don't have anything for fall. How dare she actually pull the seasonal card on me as if I was going to be able to look at her wardrobe and try to figure out what was a fall dress. So I just ended up not saying another word and slinking back into my cave. I want to wish everybody a wonderful and blessed weekend, and maybe the Patriots can make it two for two. So uh, God bless. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Our recessional hymn is number 502, Go Make a Difference, number 502. people see the love of God in you and me. We are the light of the world, not to be hidden, but be 
see Go make a difference in the world Go make a difference We can make a difference Go make a difference in the world Go make a difference We can make a difference Go make a difference in the world Good Sunday. Thanks, Matt.